So, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golfing and streetwear. And in today's video, we're going to be doing an album review of Tyler's brand new album, Call Me If You Get Lost. Now this video isn't gonna be a play-by-play -play of every single track on the album. Kind of what I'm gonna be doing in this video was just kind of sharing my overall thoughts on the album rather than diving into every single track and telling you my thoughts about them each individually. I might dive a little bit deeper and do a couple of my favorite tracks on the album, but as far as every single track as a whole, and there's a couple of reasons that I decided to do this. The first is uh, at the time, of filming this video the album has really only been out for a little over a day so i really haven't had a whole lot of time to sit with it and catch wind of every single piece of each track i may make an update video after like a week or so where i go a little bit more in depth about the album if you guys would be interested in something like that but as far as this specific video it's just kind of going to be an overview of the album itself and the second reason for that is i'm actually leaving for the beach today so i'm on a little bit of a time crunch but i'm going to be gone for like a whole week and i really didn't want to wait a week to upload this video for you guys so i decided to go ahead and film before I left so I am on a little bit of a time crunch and I apologize for that I wish it wasn't that way but just so you guys kind of understand about this isn't a full in-depth review of the album but yeah guys with that being said kind of my overall thoughts of the album I really 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 enjoy it I would say for me this is easily a top three Tyler album I don't know if this is a hot take or not because I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it and I know that recency bias is a real thing so kind of take this with a little bit of a grain of salt I personally think I like this album better than Igor. Now, don't get me wrong, Igor is still an amazing album and one of the best albums that we've got in recent years, but I think that this one is taking the cake over Igor for my second favorite Tyler album. My personal favorite always has and always will be Flower Boy, just because of what that album did for me, kind of the impact it had on my life. Like, that album changed my life literally, so I don't know if that will ever not be my favorite Tyler album, but this one is really giving it a run for its money, and there's a couple reasons for this. The first is that, like, literally since I was, like, five years old, like, since I was a little kid, I've been listening to rap music. It's literally my favorite genre of all time. And I think Tyler, like when he actually decides to rap, he does it so much better than a lot of other mainstream rappers out today. And I don't want to sound like one of those old heads who like listen to 90s rap or anything like that. But I think the rap game today has definitely gotten really, really, really stale. So the release of an album like this was a breath of fresh air for the genre just as a whole. I think rap like really needed something like this because we were just kind of like, everything really just started to sound the same to me. It's getting so oversaturated and there's not really a lot of innovating going on with the genre. So to be honest, I started getting bored with rap music over the past like year and a half. So I think that Tyler fans, of course, are really happy that this album came out, but I really think that rap fans as a whole are super excited for this release because it's an amazing rap album and it's definitely something that the rap game needed. I mean, rap is an amazing genre, but it's really delicate in the fact that it's so easy for people to just like get so basic with it and just start doing the same thing over and over and over again. But when you get people People like Tyler, you know, Kanye, Pharrell, when you get people like that and they start releasing these monumental albums, it pushes the genre to new heights and it's definitely needed. Like those are the true innovators to me. But I think that this album, at least for me, has like reignited this like deep passion that I have for rap. Like I've always loved it, but I forgot how good it felt to be this excited about a rap album coming out. Like the last time I was this excited about a rap album coming out was 2018 when Kanye was doing the whole Wyoming releases with Daytona, Kid C. Go and the Yay album. I would say Igor, but I don't really consider that a rap album. So I'm just kind of not including that one in this conversation. I'm talking strictly rap albums. This album like gave me, like I forgot how it felt to feel this way, if that makes sense. I, I was at my friend's house when the album dropped and I listened to it on the way home and like I finished it when I got home. And I was like literally about to like cry in the car because of how much I love the album. And I know that makes no sense because there's no sad songs on it. It was like complete tears of joy, but I was just so like happy to finally be hearing this album. There's so many reasons for it. First of all, I think the album itself is so inspiring. I know it's very braggadocious and stuff like that, but that stuff like drives me. I love stuff like that. But that feeling mixed with the feeling of being genuinely, truly excited to finally hear an album mixed together, like I, I literally almost couldn't handle it. And that might sound crazy to a lot of people, but I mean, it's true. There are so little things in this world that can give me as much joy as music. Like the first time I listened to this album, I felt like I was high or something. Like, it was insane. I was really curious to see how Tyler was gonna follow up an album as amazing as Igor, and I'm so happy that he decided to go in this direction. Because Igor is amazing, and part of the reason that I love Tyler so much is because he explores and incorporates so many different genres into his music. But one thing that I felt like he always did a great job at when he decided to was rap. I remember back in 2018 when he went on that string of just releasing a bunch of like singles, like Okra and all the stuff where he was freestyling over a bunch of different rap tracks, and he was just doing an 
amazing job and I was like, dude, I want to hear a full rap album by T. I didn't think it was going to happen just because he did like to explore with so many different genres all the time. And I remember once upon a time, he was talking a little bit about how he didn't really like rapping that much. Like he was a lot more into like pop music and stuff like that. So I didn't think we were ever going to see it, but I'm happy that he finally got inspired to make a rap album. And I think he did an amazing job. Like this album is exactly what I want from a Tyler rap album. Some of my personal favorite tracks are Corso, Lemonhead, What's Your Name, Lumberjack, Sweet. Love that song. I always love when T, you know, kind of goes that direction with music. And I'm happy that it was added in here. It was definitely a nice and welcome switch up. So a really big fan of that one as well. Yeah, I would say those are my favorite tracks on the album as it stands right now. But literally all the tracks on this album are great. Manifesto with Domo. Really excited to hear him rap again. And my little 12 year old self, like will always get giddy hearing Tyler link up with, with another one of the founding OF members. So that's always great to see. Uh, the Brent Fias feature on Sweet was amazing. 42 Doug went off. The DJ drama across the whole album, he did great. I was also really pleasantly surprised with Young Boy's feature. Um, you know, I'm really not traditionally a fan of him. And his feature didn't really change my opinion on him, but I think he did a great job on What's Your Name, really. I was really curious to see how he was going to fit on the track when we found out that he was going to be featured on it. But I really think Tyler is one of those artists that always brings the best out of his features. And it's always amazing. So Young Boy did actually have a really good verse on What's Your Name. Uzi and Pharrell absolutely went off on Juggernaut. That beat is crazy. Tyler went crazy. Uzi went crazy. I ain't heard Uzi rap like that in forever. And I heard Pharrell rap like that in forever either. And I absolutely love Pharrell. So hearing the three of them go off on a track was just great. Also, shout out to the Tizo touchdown feature. I've heard a lot about this guy over the past like year or so on Twitter a lot. And I love him, dude. Like I love the vibe that he carries. If any of you aren't familiar with him, I definitely recommend checking out his page on Twitter or looking him up on Apple Music and Spotify. Definitely a really interesting artist to say the least. And I mean that in the best way possible. Wayne, of course, went off. You know, one thing that's kind of a hot take, I'm not a massive fan of Lil Wayne. I do like him. I've just never really been nuts about him, which I know, especially for people who grew up in my time is a crazy take. But when him and Tyler link up for a track, it's always great. The Flower Boy feature, the Cherry Bomb feature, this feature, he always brings the best out of Wayne. And I think Wayne does the same for him. And that definitely showed up on this track. So that was great to see as well. Um, like I said a second ago, 42 Doug absolutely went off. I'm not saying that he washed Tyler or anything like that at all, but I think he stole the show on Lemonhead a little bit. I've been listening to his music for a while and I did not know that he could rap like that. So hearing him go off, especially over that beat was crazy. And that's another thing I don't want to overlook on this album is the production. The production was top tier throughout, which is something I always expect through a Tyler album. Also a quick shout out to Jay Versace who actually produced the closing track Safari. If any of you are familiar with him, he's been producing for a lot of people recently. He was actually famous on Vine like a really long time ago. So I've been kind of keeping up with him since his Vine days. So it was really dope to see him producing for Tyler. I'm pretty sure he's been a fan of T for a while. So that was a really sick full circle moment. But yeah, guys, as far as my overall thoughts on the album, I'm pretty sure that's all I've got to say for now. Like I said, I might make an update video once I've spent like a week or so with the album, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. But as far as right now, I think that's kind of my general thoughts. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on the album. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Also, let me know what you think about Tyler coming out with a rap album. I know that a lot of people were expecting something a little bit different. I saw a lot of theories about a jazz album and I know that T said something about making a jazz album at one point. So I was kind of going back and forth a little bit between a rap album and a jazz album. So definitely let me know what you guys thought about that. I also, you know, based on the teasers and stuff, this is something one of my good friends, David, actually pointed out. The album took a bit of a different direction than I initially expected based off all the snippets and stuff. The album definitely surprised me in a good way. So just comment below and let me know what you guys think about the direction of the album as well. But I'm pretty sure that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and shoe content coming moving forward. That'll do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.